risk. Yeah, they are reiterating talking points. The if you hear safe and effective come out of their mouth, run the other direction. That's all I've got <laughs> yeah. to say. Hey, let's yeah, move exactly. on to uh, GlaxoSmithKline. They, you know, not not the same thing. They they lied about um, or no, what were they doing? They were pushing. They have physicians admitted to bribe potentially dangerous drugs in exchange for Madonna tickets, Hawaiian vacations, cash, and lucrative speaking tours. And this is in the case of Paxil to get kids on Paxil, essentially. Yeah, well, we, we've always talked about how drug companies bribe doctors, and a lot of people said that couldn't be, that wouldn't be going on. Well, now here, here, here it comes out, a $3 billion settlement between Glaxo and the U.S. government, the federal government, based over the, the evidence that Glaxo did bribe physicians, that they failed to report safety data of their uh, Vandia drug to the FDA, that they engaged in pricing fraud, that they distributed misleading information about drugs like Paxil, uh, saying that it was safe for children when in fact it had never been proven safe or effective for children. They misbranded drugs. Um, I think the best summary of it is from uh, U.S. Attorney for Massachusetts, Carmen Ortiz. He said, quote, the GlaxoSmithKline sales force Bribed, bribed physicians to prescribe GSK products using every imaginable form of high-priced entertainment from Hawaii vacations to paying doctors millions of dollars to go on speaking tours to a European pheasant hunt to tickets to Madonna concerts. Hey, Rob, we, I guess we're in the wrong business. We should be doctors and we'll get paid millions to go tell lies about drugs for children. Yeah, and get a bunch of kids hooked on stuff that's going to destroy their brain and make them unproductive members of society that then we have to, under Obamacare, pay for these people for treatment. And uh, it just goes on and on. And, and you know, Paxil is one of these drugs that if you start off on Ritalin, you know, they, they say you you got ADHD, then they put you on Ritalin. Well, that doesn't work. Well, let's get them on Paxil. They must have problems. And we've also seen kids that have uh, gone uh, under CPS care who get prescribed this drug, you know, within three or four days of being under the care because they get more money for it. And it's really disturbing oh, and disgusting. They're put on multiple psychiatric drugs almost immediately. And, you know, that, that's a whole other story. But you mentioned Obamacare. This is a, a very important angle to understand that Obamacare forces all Americans to do business with these criminal drug companies. Obamacare is a government-enforced racket, a, a monopoly of medicine that forces us to hand over money to the insurance companies that then hand over money to GlaxoSmithKline, Merck, mm -hmm. Pfizer, and all these other companies that have been caught committing fraud and criminal behavior. So it, Obamacare is forcing us to do business with criminals. What kind of government is that, man? It's crazy. It's, cr it's criminal. That's all you can say about it. And, and in the uh, end of your article, you note that the market value for Paxil is $133 billion. So what's a $3 billion fine, Mike? That doesn't really affect me that much. Well, that's exactly it. I think that these companies just factor into their criminal behavior a few billion dollars for paying off fines so the Justice Department can announce a victory. But it's still business as usual. They never get shut down. They never get denied doing business with the government. And the CEOs, Rob, never get arrested. They never get investigated. They should be marched out of there in jail. You know, all of the armed government agents that conduct these raw milk raids, they should be marching into the, the, the Pfizer headquarters and the Glaxo headquarters and the Merck headquarters with guns drawn to arrest the criminals that are committing these crimes. They should be marched out of there in handcuffs, the perp walk. But instead, they're going after marijuana dispensaries that have all their state paperwork in order. Oh, but maybe they didn't put the city paperwork in order, so we're going to raid them and break their cameras and do anything we can to them because they didn't have it. And we covered another uh, article that I guess the, the, the people, people who make the knockoff oxycodone are getting 45 days to stop selling it and making it. Okay, but if you got a pot dispensary, that's it. We're coming in, we're breaking your stuff. Well, that's it. I mean, we now let there be no doubt in anyone's mind that the, the U.S. government and the, the fascist corporate-run government system has become total runaway criminality. They do not respect law. They, they, have, they, they only pretend to even serve the interests of the people. In reality, they just get as much money and power as they can, and they betray the American people at every opportunity. They don't care how many people die from a pharmaceutical, as long as it's making money and they can keep justifying it. And the doctors play along with it, 
They, get, they allow themselves to be brainwashed and to become peddlers, drug dealers of dangerous prescription chemicals that are killing children, adults, and senior citizens by the hundreds of thousands in America today. Um, yeah, I totally agree with you, Mike. Hey, anything else on, on your plate? What's coming up this weekend with Natural News? Uh, any new uh, tidbits of information that you've uncovered? Well, yeah, yeah. We, you know, there's been a big announcement about the Higgs boson discovery. This is the so-called God particle, and CERN scientists announced that they had discovered this particle. But, you know, a lot of people don't know what really went on there. It's not even a particle, for one thing. And we're going to try to set the record straight with some additional articles on this. We've already posted a couple. But just so you know, briefly, this, this quote, discovery is nothing more than a st statistical analysis anomaly of computers that have sifted through trillions of samples of data from collisions in the super collider to see if they might be able to find a statistical aberration and then they say aha that's the Higgs particle and that supports our, our standard model of the universe and therefore hey all the governments of the world give us a few billion dollars in more funding and we'll find even more particles for you this is what's going on <laughs> So they're just creating a giant circle in, in the middle of Switzerland there and, 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 and basically just scamming everyone? Is this a scam? or? Well, it's hard to say. I, I can't say it's a scam, but it's a self-serving process. You know, the, the, these scientists aren't really looking at what is the nature of reality, uh, how is consciousness involved in it, what, is, what are the origins of the universe and the divine and the role of the creator, for example. They don't, they don't think any of that exists. They're focused on particles and pieces of, of what they think is physical matter, and they're going to try to bankrupt all the governments of the world to give them more money so they think they can figure out how the universe began without God. That's their ultimate goal, right? is to say God doesn't exist and the universe because of all these little particles and these weird quantum forces that they're going to quote discover with their super accelerators wow uh, it reminds me of a Dr. Seuss story where the guy's got the boys in the back who are going to figure out something bigger and better to come along for the next uh, problem that they might occur hey Mike <laughs> that's, that's all the time we have for today uh, people can catch Mike's articles, and I, I actually watched a great video of Rob Schneider that you guys posted on vaccines at naturalnews.com. And uh, actually, how did, how did you get a hold of that video? Where did you find that at? That was sent to us by a, a tipster, and it, you may notice there's also Dr. Julian Whitaker is in the background in that video. But uh, yeah, Rob Schneider came out and told the truth about vaccines. I love it when people from Hollywood, celebrities, co uh, comedians, and so on, actually stand up and tell the truth. How refreshing is that? It was a great thing to see. And thanks for having me on today, Rob. It's always great yeah, to no join problem. you. That's Mike Adams at Natural News. And that is our show for today. I'd like to thank um, Mike for coming on and for all the hard work that everybody's doing out there. Uh, Alex was supposed to do the show today, and obviously you guys saw his, if you're watching the show this morning, you saw the, the finger that he'd almost burn off. And um, so he's going home to take care of that and hopefully get some sleep. So he'll be back here tomorrow, ready to go with that three hour Alex Jones show that has been, you know, the mainstay. I've, I've been listening to Alex since 98. So, uh, you know, I love the show. I love turning it on, listening to it while we're working, preparing our stuff. So it's been, it's been great. Got to do the, the nightly news twice this week. And, uh, there's a in the Fed shirt there if you're interested in picking one of those up. I wore this into the bank today, and I got a couple weird looks from some of the bankers. So they know who their master is, and they're like, oh, you're, you're talking bad about our master, the Fed. Oh. So uh, anyway, that's our show for today. If uh, you're watching this on YouTube, please consider subscribing at prisonplanet.tv. We have a 15-day free trial that's ongoing. And it supports us, supports the things we're doing, helps pay for the new reporters that we're in the process of hiring. We're going to get them down here and run them through, uh, through InfoWars Reporter School, I guess is what we'll call it, and to get them to go through the paces and see who's got the stuff to uh, stay on the team and who wants to just be a correspondent. But that's going to be happening soon. Um, also, if you're not a member, uh, consider joining Planet InfoWars. It is free to join, and you can join, get on there. we got... All kinds of things, activism, preparedness, resistance, street art, dating, uh, economics, entertainment. There's an Ask Alex section, a group that you can join and actually send your questions in. We have one of our moderators, Christy, gets with Alex. She goes over the questions, and let me tell you, 
Some of them are 10 minutes long. Some of them are 50 minutes long. It is just uh, amazing to watch Alex go, go off on these questions. And, it, and it's not confined with the format of, a, um, of the radio show where he's got, you know, he's got callers he's got to get to, got to go to break, whatnot. It's just Alex Jones, one-on-one. -on -one, you're asking him his questions. I think that's one of the greatest things that we have going at Planet InfoWars. In addition to all the great stuff, people are writing articles. We're putting those in, in, in at InfoWars.com. So continue joining spread the word on that let's let's make it bigger than facebook if we can and show the uh, megalomaniacal new world order who's in charge here and we're in charge of ourselves and we can take care of ourselves as long as we reach out to one another and build these teams of resistance against tyranny and with that i'm rob dew and you're watching info, info wars nightly news